Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm, of course, Warhammer Man. Today we've got our Zone Mortalis Dark Uprising set up. And uh, I've just got a couple of the uh, pieces set up here and kind of displayed out. And uh, you may notice a couple of them don't look quite as familiar. Uh, there's some conversions in the, in the mix. Um, and also... Uh, quite a bit of 3d printed items as well uh, which I'll just kind of like show those off there um, but really all this got started because those darn zone mortalis tiles have been out of like production forever and uh, it looks like they're definitely going to be coming back hopefully sometime soon but because the listing is still on Games Workshop's website. And usually if it's not coming back or it's not coming back anytime soon, they'll take down the listing. Uh, but it's been months and who knows what's going to happen with production and everything now if, uh, you know, if they're not already on the way. So anyway, this all got started essentially because of that. Um, because I needed some more of these floor tiles to get rolling. And if you've been kind of following along, you'll notice we've done like a bunch of conversions and magnetizations and we've been kind of like bashing together like the different Zone Mortalis, uh, Sector Mechanicus, like, you know, basically just checking compatibility, adding lights to everything. So, um, so today we're going to dive into uh, what we did with these tiles and how we kind of customized them, made them, etc. So, uh, here we got basically... This is what they are, the ones we got here. They're 3D printed. It's free. Um, they're six by six. There's a bunch of different designs for like damaged ones. Uh, they're not as thick as the actual boards, uh, like uh, the real Zone Mortalis styles. Um, but again, we've kind of like messed with that and. Uh, like we said, you know, there's like a couple conversions here. We made like our like actual uh, corpse grinder, um, like corpse starch processor, uh, whatever. There's like a bunch of, well, there's a light in there right now, but a bunch of little like blades and stuff down in there. And, you know, it'll look cool all painted up and everything once we get a chance to mess with it. And then we have made up a couple of these things too. Um, like a little like demon skeleton type deal like kind of like trapped or emerging from the wall depending on how creative you want to get with it um but really what i'm kind of trying to do is just get to one of these all right so this is the actual tile that we made and what it is is just four of those smaller ones combined all together you can see like the little line in there and this is gorilla glue that we used and when it dried I just kind of spread it with my finger to make sure it like got onto the edges right here and then when it kind of like set it set into this weird like you know kind of like foamy shape or whatever and then I'm gonna uh you know when I hit it with that Citadel Technical paint it's gonna look like I don't know slime or acid or something like that but you can see I made it thicker by putting it on cardboard and look at that keeping it real games workshop as it gets right there uh, but yeah I just cut out the box basically and just made it uh, 12 by 12 and then the tiles are like exactly the same basically uh, I was gonna glue down some of these guys to them uh, you know because I got enough of them that I was pretty much gonna keep like three on all of them at any time but um, I ended up actually I ended up like changing it up a little bit and what I did was yeah that'll work um, I took like, cause I, I was honestly, I was going to glue them on here and I was totally cool with that. But then I started thinking about, man, I wonder how hard it would be to just make stuff like, you know, clip onto there 
and uh, you know it didn't have to be perfect or whatever I just figured if it would like pretty much stay you know that was like the main goal was to just be able to like kind of put them on there and not have them like go crazy all over the place like shaking around when I was like moving the board and that's basically what I accomplished and the way I did it was um, you know that thing stays on there pretty good it's not perfect you know what I mean and some of them are better than others this is like one of the better ones but I mean that's that's I would say that's like good enough all I did was I took little pieces of sprue I just looked how it connected onto the actual like how the real one worked and I took a little piece of sprue and I cut it up and I lined it from the inside like looking down in there uh, how it would need to go and then once I lined it up so I didn't actually have to glue them which is pretty cool and again like you know I'm not saying like don't buy Games Workshop stuff when they come back into stock or anything like that. I love having all Games Workshop components, but for what it ends up being, um, I went over like the actual cost of what it is to like print these things or whatever. But you could go back and look at all that. I mean, these these things take like a little less than four hours to print, and they use very very little filament. I mean, you could print so many of these off of a twenty dollars spool. Like it's absolutely crazy. Uh, I don't even know. I think I printed like. I think I printed 14 of them for one spool and I think I pay about $15 roughly for the spool so they're like a dollar a tile basically so maybe it's like four dollars for this and then that's made from like old sprue so say five bucks I, I don't know it's it's pretty cheap when it's all said and done for how much filament it ends up using and how many of these you get and like you know the print time obviously you can see you know I really do keep a games workshop and it's the perfect thickness too. these boxes so you just measure out like 12 by 12 or you can glue them down and cut them out after you glue it down like you could do it a million ways and I made this one just like like uh, because the tiles kind of messed up right there I turned the screw on its side and then I have it just kind of sticking up so if you were playing or whatever you know that's fine but it, it you know it just keeps it on here the same way and like you know they're not crazy you can you can get them off there but I mean they basically clip on here And I mean, that's all you're really going for, I feel like, you know, it's not like you're trying to survive an earthquake without any of these things getting bumped. You know, the magnets, it's the same type of deal. The magnets aren't perfect, but, you know, you don't have to glue all your stuff, which is pretty cool. So, but anyway, I just wanted to kind of show that off there. And that's all it was. I literally just took a couple sprues and um, turned them, so like, like cut the little pieces of sprue, you know, look down through the center of of one of these pieces like when it was sitting on there and basically I, I put the glue around in here I had the sprue pieces like set up out of the way a little bit and then I just set it on here I lined everything up and then I just pushed it into place like with my razor blade each one and made sure it was in the right spot got it to dry pretty good I held my razor blade on the piece of sprue and then just kind of popped this up and lifted it and then bam I made sure everything looked good you know what I mean and that it was like clipping on here and staying good and some of them will be perfect others won't you know what I mean you can kind of like turn it a little bit but you know like I said the point is when it's all said and done you know I have these tiles they look good enough they're not perfect but I did want some of these like cool damaged ones or whatever but then I you know I still want like regular zone mortalis ones that aren't damaged obviously but for what it is for the floors these are gonna work for now and uh, oh, oh I almost forgot to do this too I wanted to show these off as well uh, this was another cool print and it's basically like the design of like the side of one of those big uh, like containers I don't have one right here in front of me right now um, but it's like the big like vat container uh, but this one prints like flat like that and then it's like the two-dimensional version so you would normally take you could print the whole file like this and it's one big piece and the measurements are all the same and everything to use with everything you can use like the little clips on top uh, from the Sector Mechanicus stuff. You can put uh, magnets in the sides. It's a sweet file on here and it's totally free on Thingiverse. Like, I, you know, I can't take credit for it. I just found it and used it. Uh, but these things are pretty awesome. So you can make walls out of them, uh, you know, in gameplay or whatever, or put them together and put them in between two structures. And then this is what it looks like if you print the whole thing as one. Um, it didn't print perfect. There was a couple failures, which I think is why they broke it in half like that. 
Uh, but when it's all said and done, again, like the height uh, matches up and everything with them. The length isn't like exactly the same on it, uh, but you know, it's compatible. Like when you put multiple sections together in between, it lines up the same. Um, and then this is, these things are like little pieces that you can, again, print uh, that, that make this, they actually like, they don't stay on here, but again, they have like magnet holes and they're ready to go. But you basically, they just turn this thing into a piece of wall section. They just turn it into like a regular piece of wall section. Like that. are sticking out but yeah that's i mean that's essentially you get the point the idea is that it just like lets you like interact with like a cool piece like this you know in a wall and then you know obviously in a case like this you could turn around and take it right out of here and use it for whatever it was that you were wanting to use it for when it's not part of that wall but anyway it was just a cool little thing i was pretty impressed by these um you know and just like all the different cool little stuff you could do but in all reality, you know, it's all about those uh, Zone Mortalis tiles in the meantime while they're out of print. So that's it for today, guys. I've been real busy uh, working on a lot of commission painting. Uh, so I haven't been putting out quite as much content lately. Uh, but don't you worry. Uh, it's coming. And, you know, I just make sure that when I do come to you guys that the content is quality. And, uh, you know, that it is slowly but surely improving regularly. And I appreciate all the support, guys. And we're uh, getting close to that 500. I'm looking forward to the giveaway. And, uh... Yeah, Warhammer Man Studios, I'm out of here.